Hey, what up? This is Corey. And Josh. From Stone Sour, and you're watching Pit Cam TV. My dear, dear Pitcam audience, sit down and fasten your seat belts because now we are going to have a little chat with Corey Taylor and Josh Rand of Stone Sour. How are you guys? Tired. <laughs> exactly. We got in. Uh, we got in this morning and uh, kind of hit the ground running, so we're kind of shot. But we're gonna do our very best for the interview. It should be great, right? Yes. 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 And you are here to promote your uh, new record coming out in October, I heard. Yes. It's called uh, The House of Golden <laughs> Bones. I'm so sorry. That's all right. That's all right. It's a uh, lot to say. <laughs> uh, tell us something about it. Um, it's essentially a part one of a, a two-part concept album that, that we've been working on for the last uh, four months. And... Um, It's really exciting, you know. We've been giving uh, the fans little tastes here and there, and uh, we released the, the first two songs from the album, and uh, the the fans have been freaking out. So it's uh, it's it's a it's a very big project that we uh, we put a lot of heart and soul into, and um, it, it's I, I think it's by far our best album yet, and it's it's uh, it, it's really exciting. So why is it your best album yet? So I've heard you uh, wrote the best songs ever. Yeah. What what changed? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I, I just I think it was just the the level of music that we all brought in to the to the project itself, you know. And I, I think that uh, the, the the concept itself kind of gave gave the music something to gravitate towards, you know. And, and it really kind of tied everything together like that. Um, but uh, as as far as the why the songs are the best, I think it's just. Uh, everything just came together really strongly you know i mean it just it felt really exciting to to be working on something this big and uh the, they just they just came together that way so and it's a, a concept album you're told uh what is it about exactly um it, it's basically about if you strip away all the the science fiction and the fantasy and everything it's basically about a man standing at a point in his life where he's got a you know, make choices, make decisions and, and figure out, you know, what he's going to be for the rest of his life. You know, is he going to be a better man, a good man, a, a man who evolves into the person that he could be? Or is he going to basically stay where he's at, continue to make the same mistakes and whatnot and, and not really evolve into what he could be? And uh, it, it's about, you know, trying to remember who you wanted to be when you were younger and, and hopefully having that concept be realized. Okay, and uh, it's been too much songs to uh, release it on one uh, album, so you decided to uh, split it up and release the next one in spring or summer? Yeah, yeah, next year. yeah, yeah. And it's uh, the same na uh, name with part two? Yes, yeah, House of Golden Bones part two. Make sure to pick it up. Do it! Or Josh will get you. Yeah, that's right. So is it for you, for you that great, like for Corey? What's that? Are you as excited as I am about it? I am definitely about, excited. Yes, very excited. We, we put in a lot of hard work on, on this record, you know, and it, and it definitely paid off. In like we touched on it, we believe that it's definitely our best work. I think it's the most um, mature material. I think is the difference between you know the first record to where we are present day is we've matured not only as musicians but as people. It reflects in the music. Um, and, you know, we really went for it with, <clears throat> with no boundaries. Okay. So. And who did the most? Um, Roy. Roy, <laughs> Roy. Roy did the most. I don't know. We all, we all brought, you know, we all brought a lot in, you know. Um, it, it, it all just kind of started to coalesce together once we, you know, kind of had the story, what we, you know, what we wanted to do and what we wanted to accomplish, you know. I mean, it was... It, you know, guys bring songs in all the time, but it, it's it's not until we all kind of get our hands on it that it becomes what it is, you know. So, you know, it, it didn't matter who was bringing the material in because at the end of the day, it was going to be our song. It was okay. going to be our music. So that's what it really came down to. And then there's an upcoming tour with Papa Roach. Yeah, you're going to see a, see a lot of us this year. So uh, 
but it, it's cool. You know, we wanted to put together a really special tour, and uh, when we got the list of the bands who were, you know, looking to tour and whatnot, I mean, that was the that was the name that jumped out right away, and we were like, absolutely. You know, I, I've known those guys for a while now, and uh, they're one of those bands that. Uh, to me, they continue to surprise people with their music, you know, and they're uh, just a fantastic live band. And, uh, you know, it's one of the things we pride ourselves on being. Okay. So, uh, talking about tomorrow, you're uh, here for the Metal Hammer Award Show oh, yeah. in yeah. Germany, and you're um, uh, uh, nominated as a legend. Uh, what? I am? Yes, you are. You're nominated as a legend uh, next oh. to oh. James Hetfield, Alice Cooper. When did this happen? This is the first time hearing about this. This is my information. Great. Thanks for blowing that. It's, I, oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's okay. That's cool. I didn't know I was nominated for anything. Oh, <laughs> you're in trouble now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I hopefully. That's all right. Well, now, I, God, well, now I'm nervous. Now I don't want to go. <laughs> I'm very sorry. How does it feel for you? So well, It feels you... like shit. <laughs> In case of winning, what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. Panic, I guess. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't know. I had no idea I was nominated for anything. Who's who's nominated? Uh, as far as I read, James Hetfield, Alice Cooper, uh, the, uh, those two guys I remember. Wow. <laughs> And me? <laughs> Thank you, yeah. <laughs> All right. That's, I'll take it, I guess. I, I don't know. <laughs> so let's see how it works tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's that's insane. It's Corey Taylor! <laughs> Legend. Corey Taylor. This is, uh, honestly, thank you very much for this, guys. You have no idea. So I followed in really good footsteps, and uh, I hope I can keep doing it for a few more years. So thank you so much. Thank you, Metal Hammer, for this. Uh, thank you. The presidential election in the U.S. Oh yeah, yeah. Who are you going to vote for? Oh, uh, Obama by far, because Mitt Romney is a as a James Bond villain. Basically, <laughs> he scares the shit out of me. Let's put it that way. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I've been on record as as you know being very against the the Republican state of mind and whatnot. And that's not to say. That that means I'm against all conservatives. There, you know, a lot of things that I agree with when it comes to the conservative mindset. But conservative does not automatically mean Republican. There's so much rhetoric that goes on with their message, and yet there's so much hypocrisy kind of loaded in their message that it invariably makes me shun them like immediately. You know, mm. whereas you know the, the Democrats for the most part have you know they've tried to stay on their message and yet they've, they've never really backed it up and now it feels like they really are and that to me is 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 the stronger point you know and i love the fact that obama is realistic he's like this is not going to happen overnight and yet the republicans keep trying to convince people mm. that it will happen overnight and it just doesn't happen that way it took years for this to happen it's going to take years for it to turn around and the fact that people are trying to sell misinformed people on the idea that there's a fix-all for it is is not good you know i mean that's what got us in the problem you know in mm. the situation in the first place so i'm definitely voting obama what about you jeff yeah it'll be obama <laughs> <laughs> we ask our fans on facebook uh, if there's any question for you or for the band oh. and uh, the uh, most questions were For you, yeah. uh, have you ever been thought about playing the Wacken open air? Wacken? Um, I sure, you know yeah. I mean. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Um, They're waiting for you. I know, I know. <laughs> well, and the thing is that there's so many festivals here, you know, like that you kind of forget that there's certain festivals, you know. I mean, we've done um, Full Force. We've done, obviously, Rock and Ring, Rock and Park, you know. I mean, we've done all these different you know, wonderful festivals here that, you know, you almost forget that there's like 200 other ones that you can, that you can choose from. So, you know, obviously I'd love to play, you know, Vakken someday. Um, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So we have to wait and see what happens. 
<laughs> okay, thank you guys for this nice chat. No worries. And we're looking forward to see you tomorrow.